Hi, my name is Paul Morrissey from Hitachi Ventura. Welcome to a video on accelerated virtual machine migration from VMware to OpenShift virtualization with MTV. So what is MTV and why would you use it? As customers look to re-platform their virtual machines, one of the options people are considering is OpenShift virtualization. This provides an excellent option to run both virtual machine workloads alongside container workloads. How do you get those VMs from an existing hypervisor to OpenShift virtualization? The migration toolkit for virtualization, MTV, from Red Hat, it does enable that capability. It enables a migration of multiple VMs from that other hypervisor to OpenShift. It is available as a no charge add-on to Red Hat OpenShift. So what is new? So with the release of version 2.9 of MTV, uh, Red Hat has now introduced accelerated migrations with MTV. This takes advantage of some of the storage offload capabilities of some of the high-end enterprise storage systems like Hitachi VSP1 platform, where essentially we can make that data movement happen inside the array versus using the network-based approach uh, that's in the standard MTV approach. This uh, idea was innovated by Hitachi, and we decided to open source the patent to Red Hat to allow us and other storage vendors to take advantage of this capability to ensure customers can get this extremely good benefit, including 10x to 20x quicker migrations. So let's quick re review the standard MTV migration workflow. As you may know, in a standard MTV migration workflow, you set up a migration plan, you identify your source VMs from your VMware vSphere cluster or alternative hypervisor, you specify your target OpenShift virtualization cluster, and then you identify the network mappings and storage mappings. Now, once that's achieved and the migration plan kicks off, that data transport happens over the TCP IP network, um, which is good. Uh, but also it does introduce some uh, delays. It does tax the CPUs and memory of the hosts on both sides as well. With the storage offloading workflow with MTV 2.9, what has changed? Not a lot. You still have the same migration plan. You're still identifying the same source VMs that want to get migrated. Uh, but the difference here, instead of transferring the data over the network, the data now transfers magically inside the storage array. Uh, as an example, with the Attachee VSP1 storage array, we can transform those VMDKs into persistent volumes that are recognized by VMs running on OpenShift virtualization. It takes care of all the format conversion. Uh, we leverage the same virt IO drivers to insert the driver so that it gets recognized by OpenShift virtualization. But essentially, we're using some cloning operations inside the array and taking advantage of our CSI drivers to enable this excellent migration capability. Uh, this storage offloading function uh, is available for other vendors uh, to actually supporting this first release of this in version 2.9. Now to demonstrate what this looks like in the real world, we've set up a test or we've got a MTV migration and MTV version 2.9 migration with storage offload in process. We are going to take a 200 gig VM and take both approaches and compare the results. So as you see here in the demo, both of those VMs are indeed available. And now the migration process has started for both. And I just see the storage offload plugin module will Will complete quite quickly as it's using the accelerated storage offload capabilities and indeed it has finished in roughly three minutes and 40 seconds in the meantime the standard mtv process continues its migration effort again it's transferring data over the network and so it will take a considerable amount of time to complete that uh, i will accelerate the video just to show you what the end result is
And so you see the standard based interview migration is completed. It took roughly 45 minutes and 35 seconds. So again, we accelerate that migration by 15x, leveraging MTB version 2.9 storage offload capabilities. So to summarize, the accelerated migration with storage offload delivers up to 10x faster migrations, depending on your configuration. It also enables customers to do quicker cutover to the new environment with support for both cold migration and warm migration. We can quickly get those VMs up and operational on the target OpenShift virtualization cluster, minimizing business disruption. Again, with this release, Hitachi supporting version 2.9 uh, for our customers. And we continue to encourage customers to you know, invest in OpenShift virtualization uh, with both Red Hat and Hitachi. Thank you very much.